All right, so yesterday, y'all, we covered some of our boy Lurch. He reached out to his mother. Well, I should say his stepmother reached out to her, tried to strike up a little conversation, you know, strike a little, you know, a little reminiscing with her. When I tell you that woman gave him one answer responses the entire time, it was actually, I actually felt bad for him. I was like, damn, he cannot catch a break. Complain about his sprained ankle and everybody stands to just stomp on it and nobody has sympathy. The, you know, the irony is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. But anyways, we're moving forward from Lurch to some of the lieutenant's findings. He, they're going to cover pictures, how the house looked, um, how the bathroom looked, how the refrigerator looked, all that shit. And some of these photos I haven't even seen myself. And... Um, Again, these cross-examinations are super long, so I yanked down a good chunk of it from the live that we covered. Again, if you want to see <clears throat> full archives, make sure you become a member of the YouTube channel. But without further ado, people, I love you guys, man. Shout out all the new members. Shout out all the OGs out there, all the Golden Star members, all my peoples on Patreon. You guys are awesome. Let's go ahead and jump into this, and um, I hope you all enjoy Raise your hand. This matter now pending. You swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. I do. All right, put your hand down, grab a seat. Please take the name for the record, spelling your first name and last name. Lieutenant Joel Huxima. J O E L. Wait, I think this is the lieutenant we did already. Can every, uh, the members of the I think his name was Joel. That okay? Would it help if we dim the Yeah, that's our boy Joel Huxima. Dim the lights a little bit? Oh, he has a, oh, apparently he has a part before the text messages because I only know him for the text message reading. Oh, shit. He has a whole, bruh. Anyways, continuing. Let's do it. We got Hooksima. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Right, it's a crazy name. Wild. Shout out Hooksima. <laughs> and now I'm yes, just sir, saying it. I'm a patrol lieutenant with the city of Norton Shores Police Department. I, I, he was right? Yes, he was. Yes. I want to make sure. Can you see it at the exhibit? On the yes, side? yep, okay. it's working. Thank you. Uh, lieutenant, I want to direct your attention back to July 6th of 2022. Were you working in your capacity uh, at that time as a detective sergeant for the city of Norton Shores Police Department? I was. And uh, as detective sergeant, were you essentially the officer or the de detective in charge of this investigation? I was. Your role as detective sergeant is that the head of the other detectives uh, assigned to the North Shores Police Department? Correct. And since that time, you've, currently, you've been promoted actually to the rank of lieutenant, is that correct? That's correct. Um, so again, working back to July 6th of 2022, uh, did you become involved in the investigation into the events that had taken place at 4788 Marshall Road in the city of North Shores, County of Mesquite in the state of Michigan? I did. All right, man, let's look up Lurch one time because you guys are flooding my damn comments. All right. See, I don't know this one. I've seen the Adams family, but I'm not so much of a fan to know. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's Lurch right there. Damn, bro. How are you guys so... Oh, that, oh, Paul is a dead spinning, hold on, Paul Ferguson, he is a spitting image of Lurch, what the fuck is going on, you can't unsee it now, who, who, which one is which, it's like Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man, <laughs> And uh, did you actually go to that location? I did. Right, we're going to go through some photos. Lurch, yeah, Lurch low-key looked better than Paul. I ain't going to lie. He, bro, I at least got some swag. He got the suit on and shit. You know what I mean? The hair slicked back. Paul is over here just looking like a... I'm not, I, can't even say, I can't even say what I wanted to say. For the record, these have already been stipulated to as people's exhibits 1 through 32. They're sequential. Because of YouTube. Of the Guidelines. I can't say it. I uh, just will go through them one by one for the... Um, for the officers so the jury can see them on the monitors. So, um, we're looking here at what's, what is going to be People's Exhibit Number 1. I'm going to lose count at some point with the exhibits. I know I will. But People's Exhibit 1, what are we looking at in that photograph, Lieutenant? That is the home where the incident occurred. And uh, People's Exhibit 2? That is looking at the front door. Of now, the see, this looks normal. 
We got a bike and a briefcase. The shoes are kind of knocked over. All right. It was it was a tiring day, you know, f the shoes. Put the briefcase down. Okay. Everything looks normal. And then you look, you walk up the stairs and it's a fucking crack house. Crazy. With a, with a clerk, with a lawyer clerk who's working to be a lawyer, living in that bitch. Looking like a meth den. The home. And uh, in that image, you can see two sets of stairs, one going up, one going down. That's the bi-level nature of this home. Is that correct? That's correct. And um, is it... When the you floor is pretty on that dirty. Scene, you right, you right. You're not even lying. I thought you were just talking shit. The fr they don't do shit, bro. I don't understand what breaks in some people's brains and just start living like this. And listen, I'm I'm not the cleanest person in the world. I be, but it's, you gotta reset that shit, bro. At the end of something, how do you go into your house for months? This ha this shit hasn't been cleaned for months. I promise. I mean, you do have kids, and I've heard from adults that, not adults, I've heard from parents that you, you just don't understand until you have kids. Okay, I get it. But I've gone to a lot of people's houses with kids, unannounced, and the shit don't look like this. A few things might be sticky, but shit don't look like this. Upper and lower portions of that home? I first went to the lower portion, then I did go to the upper portion. Why did you go to the, it seems obvious, but why did you go to the lower portion first? That's where the deceased was located. Um, but you did have the occasion to serve both the upstairs and downstairs. I clean my apartment upstairs, right? daily. Correct. Well, and is that well, listen, not everybody's like you. You said every day. The fu I mean, define clean, because I might pick up a few things and throw them away, if that's what you mean by cleaning, but I'm not deep cleaning this bitch every day. Substantially, um, some of these photographs are, are, are taken on two different days. Is that correct? Correct. Now, the during the course of this, did you conduct two separate searches of that home pursuant to a search warrant? Yes. And is that the reason why we have photographs from two different days? That's correct. But you have had an opportunity to review all those photographs in preparation for trial today. And would you agree that those are a fair and accurate depiction of the home as it appeared to you on both July 6 and? Was the second was the second search warrant on July seventh? It was correct, and, and it, that's the condition in which the home appeared at the time so that you were there on July sixth and July seventh. Yes. So people's exhibit number three. What are we looking at in that photograph? That's the lower level of the home. Uh, what's kind of what's been referred to as the common area. That's the a main room in the lower level where the and, deceased was located. Right, and uh, it, we can see a sheet here. I know you can't see, necessarily see what I'm pointing at with the laser pointer, but there's a sheet uh, on the floor on the bottom left-hand portion of that photograph. Is that correct? Yes. Is that where the deceased was located when this photograph was taken? Yes, he is under that sheet. And what are we looking at in this photograph? That is the same room, just a different angle. Uh, you can still see the deceased. Well, look at that underneath. shit. That shit is crazy. Hold on, back this up. That sheet. And what are we looking at in this photograph? That is the same room, just a different angle. Uh, you can still see the deceased underneath that sheet, just showing the general appearance of the room. And the, the, the sheet right here, that's the sheet covering the deceased. And this is, is this after the home is searched, or is this the condition it was in when you first observed it? That is the condition it was in when we first arrived. And looking on the right side of that, there is um, what appears to be a bunk bed there. Is that correct? That is correct. I think we have another photograph of that. So she it? dragged him there, threw him down, and said he fell off the bunk bed with a two-inch rail. That boy must have been sleeping wild to fall off of that bitch. You mean, and, and then obviously, like, he fell and the fall killed him, right? Okay. She imagine how that shit smelled. And then he said it was used up adult diapers in the bathroom and shit. Hey, bro, turn down the water pressure a little bit. They said it was used up adult diapers in the bathroom like what the fuck you're understanding that's that was timothy ferguson's bed that is what we have been told yes and uh what are we looking at in this image that is the upper bunk of that loft bed or bunk bed that at least the bunk bed looks clean it looks uh, it looks unused <laughs> that's how clean that shit looks um and that's um I believe that's another Norton Shores officer that we can see there with a mask on. And beyond that, there is a there's what appears to be another room there. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, and it's, it's, the testimony has been thus far that there are two bedrooms. Actually, there's the common area, a bathroom, and two bedrooms, and a small closet in the lower level. Is that correct? Yes. And you observed both of those bedrooms? 
I did. And was it your understanding that those bedrooms belonged to the one to Paul Ferguson and one to the minor child, G? That's correct. Um, and so we're looking at the, the top bunk and looking towards one of those bedrooms. Is that correct? That is correct. That would be G's bedroom. All right. And what are we looking at in this next photograph? That is the upper level of the home, uh, the kitchen. And uh, again, looking at this photograph, is this taken prior to any search actually taking place? No, this was the scene of the home as we found it. So the, the items all strewn about are not, you know, you see on television, police officers going in and emptying drawers. Yeah, exactly. You would, you would expect like, oh yeah, the police officers ran through that shit, fucked everything up, right? That's what, it looks like a raid came through. This is the house, trash can front and center of the kitchen. Imagine how fucked up you got to be and not giving a fuck you got to be to have the trash can front and center of the kitchen, just in the middle of space, just just in the middle. And guess what, though? All the trash is around the trash can. That shit is crazy to me. This picture by itself is almost like a meme, a trash can, probably empty, trash all around it. Like, what the fuck is going on? But yeah, that shit, yeah. Some nasty motherfuckers in here. Up around. Did any of that occur prior to this photograph being taken? No, we don't operate that way. We take care of the property that we're searching. Um, there, there's going to be a better view of it, but on the extreme right side of that photograph is uh, what appears to be a refrigerator. Is that correct? Yes. And you can see... Um, we'll, well, we'll just we'll get to it. In the, it's in the next photograph anyway. Um, here, are we looking at another view Look of the locks. It is. She locked Another. the refrigerator. And that's now we understand what the text messages meant when Paul said he pulled off the adhesive to get into the cabinet because you can't lock a refrigerator, right? How the fuck are you going to do that? So they put these tight ass 4M probably or 3M whatever adhesive things and they lock those. Man. That's I mean that's pretty smart. That probably took a little while to think about, huh? A nice amount of time to, to figure out. Review of that refrigerator? Instead of just not doing it, <laughs> it's a lot of effort to be a dickhead. Uh, there, so that's a bottom freezer, so refrigerator where the refrigerator is on top and the freezer portion is on the bottom, is that correct? Correct. And there appears to be a lock on the bottom portion of that, or two locks there actually, but, but one lock with a front uh, connection point on that freezer, is that correct? That's correct. And is this the upper portion, the refrigerator portion? Yes. All right, and that also appears to be a lock as well with a keyhole, correct? Yep. Correct. correct. And is that just a wider shot of, so you can see both the upper and lower portion of that refrigerator? That's correct. The door slightly ajar there, where does that door go to? That's what's been referred to as the pantry. And Look at, at that. that. Look at that. It's a crack den, guys. What the fuck? What the fuck? Another view of the, uh, the kitchen area. You can see the stairs leading down to the main entrance as well as a chest freezer. And uh, there's a, next to the freezer, it appears to be a coat rack. Is that right? Yes. And there's a large white tub there. Do you recall what was located in that tub? I believe it was dog food. Um, so those are the, the stairs that we can, the stair rail we can see there, those are the stairs that come up from the front door? Yes. And immediately then to your right as you come up those stairs is that, that door to the pantry, correct? Correct. You said matching the odor? Yo, I'm past the odor. That, that whole house smell like ass, bro. From the bathroom with dirty diapers and that shit, to the kitchen with the trash all over the floor, that shit smell like ass and spoiled food all day long baby and they don't even smell it because they're just inhaling that shit ass and dirty food just living in it fuck yeah you know that image that's the chest freezer that we just had looked at with the lock on it the black lock wait let me i just realized my photo my, my my um my image is low-key blocking these photos hold on y'all damn y'all should have told me something i'm gonna make myself tiny and then we're gonna blow this back up and hold on let me just back it up to like this boom you see it everybody see it the boxes and shit in the corner nasty as fuck paintings on the side not put up messy as fuck okay then we're moving on 
to just the ones you guys missed. Hold on. The bed. You missed the jacket, probably. There's a jacket in the corner. There's a jacket in the corner, a pillow. Looks like it's never been slept in. Oh, God damn. And then we move in view of that to refrigerator. This. Look how much shit is in the refrigerator, too. Pro probably half this shit. The way the house look, I'm going to tell you right now, half this shit is spoiled. 100%. I guarantee you. All the fucking condiments down there probably expired. I'm prom I promise you, if I was able to just transport right there, half that shit spoiled. Side of the refrigerator and portions of the freezer. And uh, by all accounts, it looks like there's quite a healthy amount of food contained in that uh, portion of the refrigerator. Is that, would that be fair to say? Absolutely. Condiments on the door, milk on the door, other items, pickles, more mayonnaise, lots, lots of items inside that refrigerator. Very well stocked. And uh, is that the freezer drawer portion? That is the freezer. And you would see, see pizza rolls, some type of frozen mac and cheese, a couple of boxes of frozen mac and cheese, and some type of packaged meat. Damn, there's hella right food. In. That is, dude, there's hella food in that house. There's like a lot of food. They could be eating crazy for like a month without going to the grocery store. All four of them. Shonda, Paul, Timothy, G. All four of them, yeah. They could be going crazy for like a month. Ration that shit. That is crazy. Is that freezer fry? Yes, many options. Look at the next one. What are we looking at in this? There's more. That's the inside of the chest freezer. But wait, there's more. Okay, so a month and a half, they could have been... She literally has a stockpile of food. I don't know how, how much of it is good, but the freezer shit has to be good, right? So it clearly wasn't about the money. Never was. She just wanted to... She just wanted to starve him, bro. And I'm sure he was taking shit and telling her, like, oh, what are you going to do about it? He probably was, like, a little shit or something. He must have did something. But like, he must have been taking the food and eating it in front of her. And, and saying, well, my dad doesn't do this, and I'm just going to eat the food because my... And then she it's something inside of her. She was like, okay, you little shit. Guess what? Guess, guess the fuck what? I promise you. That's what happened. I bet you Timothy was just like, bro, I'm going to eat this shit. The fuck you mean? Like, dad doesn't do this because, remember, he just moved. He had just recently moved. Pops had the stroke, all that other shit, right? So the house was run different. He probably was able to get away with it. Shonda said he was able to get away with a lot more. And I believe it. I believe her on that. And she was like, oh, okay, cool. I'm going to fuck you up a little, you know? But, yeah, that's, that's how that shit went. Showing all the food available in there. Um, so there's some frozen chicken. There's some desserts in there. There's some bread. All yes. visible in that image. Correct. Again, th this and the refrigerator and the freezer all had locks on them, correct? Correct. And what are we looking at in this image? That's that closet pantry door that was just to the right of the refrigerator near the stairs. And the inside of the pantry area. Um, and again, there's more food items in there. There's canned soup. No, no, I don't think he said I'm taking advantage of you. I think he was just taking food and just didn't care and she was like no you don't eat that and then he would go to his room and then he would come back out and he would take it anyway you know like some you know like some regular shit and and then he would tell her probably well, well dad doesn't let me you know like that type of shit like well dad doesn't make me not eat after eight thirty, and so and then she took that <laughs> she took that as disrespect she took that to a whole nother level she took that to concentration camp levels over her pride, over, over, her th it's sad that she's competing with a 14, 15 year old. But, um, but yeah, that's what I honestly believe happened. It's not that he said, yeah, I'm just going to take advantage of you. Nah, he was doing things that he was told not to. And she, yeah. Real multiple items inside that location. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, I think we're back downstairs now. So, so can you tell the jury what we're looking at? In oh, shout out Leia for the fat ass donation. Let's go. Showing up golden in the chat. I appreciate you. Everybody shout Leia out. 
Wisconsin, no Wiccan. You need to look at the playlist. Yeah, no, that's crazy. This is the first. Everybody, shout out Leia, man. Uh, to the Showing right of love. the screen, you can see the the bunk bed that was designated as the deceased bunk bed, um, and then the small room door, the closet under the stairs. And uh, at the very top, uh, top right portion <coughs> of that door, can you describe to the jury what we're looking at there? On the top right of the door is an alarm. Uh, which appeared to me to be activated whenever that door would be opened. We have a close-up of that in the next image. Is that that's that's the alarm sensor? Correct. You can see the one sensor part on the door jam and the other sensor part on the door. So when the door is opened, it would trigger. <clears throat> now let's talk for just a moment because you referenced it just a moment ago. You said that the, these photographs specifically, these two exhibits, were taken during the execution of the first search warrant at the home. Is that correct? Correct. So that was the search warrant that was executed on July sixth. Correct. That is correct. That's the date that Timothy Ferguson's body was located in the home. Correct. And um, following the conclusion of the execution of the search warrant and all the interviews that were taking place, uh, was Ms. Van Art placed in custody at that point in time? She was not. And was she free to remain in the home the night of July 6th leading into July 7th? She was. He couldn't speak at the end because he was dying. I think he was verbal. You all say he was nonverbal, but I think they were... Um, he wasn't like he could talk. That's what they said, at least. I think that's what everybody said. He just couldn't talk at the end because obviously, bro was like fighting for his life and shit. But the only thing that was fucked up with him, like obviously, he was autistic, and like, but they said he was high functioning autistic, and he had like motor issues, so he like he couldn't move around the way he wanted to. But everything else, I feel like he could have told somebody. He just couldn't. Like he was locked in that shit. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what that's what Shonda said. That's what Paul said. I think that's what everybody said. This next photograph. That is the inside of the small room. And uh, you refer to it as a small room. Is that uh, throughout the course of this investigation, did you come to recognize that as being referred to as the small room by Ms. Van der Ark as well as Paul Ferguson? That is correct. And uh, there's a tarp in there and a box in there. Was anything else located in this room? That was it, just the tarp in that box. And what was the overall physical condition of that room based on your observations at the time that you were there? When we opened the door to that room, there was an overpowering odor of urine, um, very offensive smell coming from that room. And uh, is this just another view of that looking down at the tarp that you'd refer to? Correct. And what are we looking at with this image here? That is a view from the inside of the, the door um, for the small room. The door is open, and that is what would be on the inside of the room. And it appears that there's a crack in the door. Is that correct? It does. He walked and talked and challenged Shonda. That was his mistake. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he was movable. He just had, like, some movement issues and shit. But, bro, he wasn't no dummy. Yeah, and he made, he made it known. And I think that's what she didn't like. She hated that boy. <laughs> a boy. <laughs> hated him. He must, have told, he must have told her something, bro. He must have told her something, and she just saw red for six straight months. She said, oh, okay. Okay. Stay right there. I swear. He, he this, like, I'm not victim blaming. I'm just saying. He, something had to happen because how are you... I know from before then she didn't have custody of him, so there's probably some issues from way before. But the earlier on we go, the younger he gets. So what is he really doing? You know, the younger he's only 15. So if if she couldn't have custody of him, say three years earlier, he's he's only getting younger. So what was the issue then? Was he back talking then? So I don't know. She always had an issue with this kid though. Yo, what's up, Della? How you doing? Is, is that the other side of that door? Correct. That would be the opposite side of the door, also noting the uh, damage to the door of the crack. Yeah, he was definitely smarter than Paul. Now, this next photograph uh, appears to be the same area that you would that was, appears in the earlier exhibit. Is that correct? Yes. Um, but what's different, it's obvious, but what's different about this photograph uh, than the earlier photograph? The 
um, the alarm for the door is missing. And when was this photograph taken? This photograph was taken on the July the 7th when we executed the second search warrant the next day. So this was taken after Ms. Van Ark was allowed to remain in the home the night after the execution of the first search warrant, correct? That's correct. And when you go back for the search warrant on the second day, the alarm that you had previously observed has been removed from the door. That is correct. She and ran back so fast and removed those alarms. She was like, oh, shit. I bet you she didn't even realize they took a picture of the alarm the first day. She was like, wait up. Let's take this shit down real quick. For, for that reason. Yes. yes, I recognize that it was missing, so I photographed it. And then working backwards is just that, that same door, but just showing it without the, without the alarm and on the second day when you went back. That is correct. And what are we looking at in this image? That is a, a view of the bathroom on the lower level. Um, and uh, specifically on that countertop there, on the bathroom counter, there appears to be uh, some type of camera. Is that right? Yes, there is. And you've heard Officer Stefanich's testimony earlier today about a camera that appeared to be motion activated or following when he was in the bathroom. Is that correct? That's correct. Is that that camera? That is. What are we at Look there? at that bathroom. Now, my, my main thing is having a nice bathroom to take a shit or to take a shower. Like, you know, that, that that's that's number one. But damn. That shit is nasty. Look, look at look at behind the toilet, the little white spot, the little white part that's supposed to be white. That shit is brown. <laughs> what the? <laughs> that shit is straight up brown out shit i don't want to spend the night if you got a shitty bathroom i don't want to fucking spend the night i'm telling you from now i literally ask people and i don't i don't give a fuck i'm gonna be like if i'm gonna finish spend the night at anybody's house say it's a girl's house or some shit i'm gonna be like what's up with your bathroom or or the the way i usually do it i'm like hey send me so like we're talking whatever like the way i usually do it like hey send me a picture of whatever what like just send me a picture like before you go out or something 70 80 percent of the time they're gonna go to the bathroom take a little picture right i'm not even looking at you bro i'm trying to see how you living in there that shit man that shit is nasty as fuck i had stepped further into the bathroom and took that photograph so the vanity to the left side, looking into the toilet shower area. And uh, Officer Stefanich noted, and, and you can see in that photograph, is there a shower curtain? No, I'm dead ass, Mary. There is no shower curtain. And the camera is uh, just off to can't the left. Can't be messing around. The, on the left side of the screen, is that correct? That's correct. Fuck around and catch some in somebody's bathroom. Fuck all that shit. Fucking, yeah, no. But if it's motion activated, it, it Catch a fungus on your skin or some shit. Nasty ass. Look at that shit. Look at the toilet streaks. L listen, you take man, you take a shit and your dick touches the bottom of that bowl. Listen, t cut it off. We not we don't want that. Fuck that. The reason that a person in the shower or on the toilet, that camera could turn to uh, track their movements in the bath and or on the toilet. It'd certainly be in view of it. Yes. And Look at the hot the, sauce right there. So you got deodorant, you got you got hand wash, you got toothbrush, and then you just got some extreme death hot sauce or whatever the fuck it's called. Just chilling. You know, some hot sauce and shit. What image are we looking at here? This is the vanity um, in the, within that lower level bathroom that we had previously looked at. No. Yes. It, it, it's, a, look back, the, it's a rest stop bathroom, but as an entire house. That's what that is. The camera is no longer in that in this second image was the camera taken as part of the search warrant it was and so now we're looking down at the vanity and what if anything did you note in terms of the investigation here in that photograph uh, unusual items for a bathroom vanity such as a bottle of hot sauce and a bag of zip ties and the hot sauce is right here and the zip ties right here is that correct that's correct um let's just, just keep moving for just a little bit and what are we looking at in this photograph? That's a close-up of the bottle of hot sauce. Yeah, re extreme regret. Extreme that's regret, what it's called. Scorpion Carolina Reaper hot sauce. That's correct. Screaming hot. Screaming hot. Yeah. And you was this taken into evidence? It was. And what are we looking at in this next image? Those would be the leg shackles that were found in the lower level of the home. Um, this is probably a good time. You brought some phys uh, some other physical. Damn, you got a UTI at a at a bathroom at a gun range. 
damn that's that that sucks it's not good you go to shonda's house you sit out on the couch you catch a uti be careful out there ladies shit that shit is crazy ag you should do a cooking channel inspired no i want to oh shit Oh, they about to start cutting. It's about time anyway. I want to do a cooking channel, but that's just so much work. So I would have to not be working to do that. So the second I stop working and shit, um, we're going to have the second channel. Well, the third channel because the second channel is a clips channel. Shout out my clips channel that I abandoned. Go follow that. Get me to get me to 500 subscribers and I'll start uploading up there. But um. But yeah, I'm gonna make like another channel that's serious and I'm gonna post like weekly or bi weekly and it's gonna be some dope shit. And it's gonna be like full production. Like, you know, it's not gonna be like these reaction videos. We're gonna have a bit more production added to it. But, you know, that's the plan. I have a bunch of recipes and everything. We're ready to go. But I just need time. I don't have time. You, um, if we go ahead and I need to delegate more, more though. It will, the second I get to delegate editing to someone else, I got so much fucking time. Listen, we we could do five channels if you wanted to. The fuck, but that's expensive. Finding a good editor that you know that it's not really that hard to edit my content, but a good editor that's consistent and can handle the volume without charging you a crazy fee. That's the next step. And then once we do that, we we solid. No. We're a machine I after that. What to mark. It's all about delegation, people. Don't do nothing yourself other than what you're okay, best I'm at. Like, oh, uh, let's start with hot sauce. Y'all probably know that. Bathroom hot sauce? Um, well, there's two hot. It's my understanding you have two types of hot sauce there, is that correct? Yeah. Uh, one that all right, they're about to go into the hot sauce and a, a whole bunch of blah, blah. This shit is long as fuck and i'm way overdue i'm way past time so i'm gonna cut it there my people shout out to all the new members shout out to all the people who are fucking throwing out super chats and shit you guys are awesome um it was dope i woke up early for a good reason it man it's a struggle on the day off to get up early but 